Hi everyone, today I would like to share with you a vintage CD player from Akai. This is a CD A70 uh, produced by Akai Japan in 1987. I mean this uh, Akai, they have uh, used uh, uh, their own DAG chip, you know. They did not use the Philips TDA, the famous one, but they used uh, a DAG chip uh, produced by Sony, uh, not by own Akai, but by the Sony CX20152. And uh, they have used a uh, uh, very good uh, mechanism though, the, the CD mechanism, which is KS121. Uh, here is the CD mechanism, it's quite uh, robust uh, and uh, much better than uh, the other CD players of that time. Almost all recently designed CD players and uh, the CD players at that time they were using filtering and over sampling and uh, yeah and some uh, uh, they have used the wide out of band attenuation of not more than 50 decibels. The high performance digital filters employed in the Akai this one provide atten attenuation of uh, almost 90 dB you know so uh, they have uh, over filtered it in my opinion in aim to to reproduce uh, more natural uh, sounding audio parameters at the output level and uh, we're gonna of course find out while we play some music on this uh, uh, CD player on my so uh, enough talking I would say and uh, let's see how that CD sounds like play this uh, particular soundtrack because it has uh, uh, all frequencies basically it has a low frequency mid-range and uh, natural sounding uh, uh, created uh, by the instrument so it doesn't have uh, those uh, uh, music parameters which are now it is uh, add into the music system like uh, created by the synthesizers 
So this mu music was created by a Studio London Orchestra and uh, they basically play on this uh, tune the music uh, instrument. So uh, it gave uh, us an idea that Akai uh, has reached their goal and their CD player in this setup was able to produce a natural sounding uh, device. Let us try maybe one more trick to see if uh, experience the soundtrack of the movie the good the bad and the ugly uh, and it was performed by the studio london orchestra reproduced by the sakai cd player did good job i guess i have a question to all my uh, channel viewers and subscribers what would you like i'm thinking because i have a studio monitors also uh, and uh, previously in my videos, I also reproduce uh, sound by using the con conventional amplifier and the speakers, which are usually commonly used in normal settings in every living room. And uh, then I tried this uh, Bose speaker, you know, it's a, a small, compact and produce a good sound. And I found it uh, good for testing purpose where we don't require much higher volume and, uh, and we don't require any feedback uh, just to uh, amplify the basic source produced by the primary device in, in this case is the CD player and amplified in the class A B level and driven by small drivers so uh, I thought it's a, it was a good experience but I do also have a st studio monitors from the JBL and other so uh, would you like 
to uh, me to uh, test next time uh, using studio monitors also